I had to do a video on this. You are on the news. The national news. Kiara. Joe. Y'all two on the news. The homies blowing up. You on the news. You a little post old baby. You a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in her pocket. She gon' take off like a... You already know. Dirtied up a couple more than no side. Take you what I know you probably caught side. Would you mind if I just record this chat for note taking? Yeah, I don't mind at all. Thank you. Um, could you just confirm what city you're based in? I'm in Los Angeles, California. And so the $500 wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was wondering, is that like a budget that you set or did it just kind of happen to be that's how much you spent? Yeah, I think it just happened. We didn't. Good morning, y'all. We're on the way to church. We're late, so we're watching it on the live stream. As I drive. But we look so cute. Outfit courtesy of Ross. Marshall and Ross. Wall Street. Sponsor us. We make Ross look good. We're late because of her too, guys. No, we're not. We're late because of him. I was the first one in the car. Y'all, we are so late. We had to park <laughs> across the street, down the street. I'm saying, look at, look at y'all, y'all. Let me pop the stuffers. Look at my book. Look at my book, y'all. Look at her. Look at her beautiful self. We had ABC News. Good morning, what? America. Just what? message both of us talking about they want to do a segment on us. Yeah, we need to. Tell, ask them where you got that from. I got it from Shoes Target. Yeah, I ain't gotta buy expensive to look to look good. Look at this. Y'all see that? So I'm sitting in church, y'all. It's Easter Sunday. And at this point, I can't even focus on the service because my phone is just blowing up from everyone talking about the Beauty Insider magazine. Good morning, America hitting me up. This is, I'm just like, wait, what? I cannot focus. All right, y'all, we are out of church. Joel was supposed to take, well, Joel did take pictures of me, but he just was not into it today. Can we go? But you wanna know who he is into? himself um so y'all some people two people hit me up from abc news they hit up joel too about Can interviewing and um, she said i'm waiting to hear back from the coordinating producer um sounds good let me know okay um Um, so they hit Joel, this lady hit Joel up, and then um, this guy hit me up about being interviewed, and she wanted to interview today, which today is Easter, and I'm just like, I have plans with my family, and then I need to know what's going on. 2.5 million. Nigerian? Yeah. Nigerian. Nigerian. Yeah, I was like, um, tag me. You tell them that? I did. I'm like, tag me in my in the stuff. At least the TikTok had my stuff, but they didn't even tag me or see what I'm saying? God gets glory. All right. About to do this interview. It's so fun. I can hear you. Hold on. Oh, good. Then this laptop goes a little berserk. Yeah. Okay. Oh, much better. Look at you. Yeah. Luckily, I was like, oh, I just came from um church, so I was like, oh, I look good today. Yep. Let's do this interview. <laughs> let's do I it. Came from Easter brunch, I sure did. Right. <laughs> 
Let me just do one thing. The, the light behind your head, what happens if you turn it off for me? So the, the two things I always tell everyone I interview, number one is it feels a little awkward because I'm going to be off camera so that it's just recording you. Okay. And then the other thing is um, with the answers, if you can just sort of give me a fully formed answer. A lot of people in conversation, we just say yes or no, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But it's just give me a full sentence. Okay. All right, great. All right, so let me turn this off. Let me press record. Recording in progress. Okay. So my first question for you is a really easy one. Can I have you say and spell your first and last name for me? And also, um, yeah, let's just start with that. When did you kind of, how do I ask this? Sort of let go of this idea of that dream wedding that everyone's always talking about. You want this big dress. You want this big venue. When did you come around to the idea of this is okay and this is going to be just as good as that and, and just as special? So uh, I would say it was a journey. Um, before we actually were thinking about marriage, I kind of was already like desiring something intimate. So I would have kept the intimate. My dream would have been intimate anyway. Um, and that kind of happened over the pandemic as I was seeing people getting married and things like that. Okay, thank you. Um, as I was seeing people- um, oh, who is that? That's my husband, yeah. They could, they could <laughs> see you. My husband. <laughs> <laughs> um, so over the pandemic, as I was seeing people getting married, like in backyards and things like that, I was like, oh, it really doesn't take all that. I like that. Um, and so then once we decided that we were going to get married, our engagement was not long. It wasn't even two months. It was, it was a very short engagement as well. So um, just kind of thinking about the way that we have to do things. Um, it was kind of like a journey. I was just thinking like, okay, I, my whole thought process was like, how am I able to use what I have, use the resources that I have to get at least um, some form of an outcome that I want. So I felt a lot of anxiety of like, oh my gosh, what are my family members going to say? My family, most of us, like we've had, we have big weddings. So for me to do what I did was kind of something new, um, for my family. So, you know, I just felt anxiety of like, what are they going to think? Uh, I don't want anyone's feelings to be hurt, you know, kind of like that people pleasing, um, you know, mentality. That's nice. I always find that, you know, at the most uncertain times or the randomest times of people that you don't even know actually know how to behave sometimes. Yeah. It's, nice and, it's a nice reminder. So I, another thing that you said that I liked, and you've mentioned it during this conversation was, um, the takeaway message for other couples like yourselves that are thinking about getting married or planning their weddings and how you want them to, you know, focus more on that relationship that they're coming together and building a life together than on this one day, this one event, this one party. Can you sort of tell me um, that in an answer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I would say when it comes to joining your lives together, um, culturally, we, we have a lot of um, opportunities to get distracted. A weddings can easily become a distraction and it can take away from the 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 thing I would say is, is supposed to last a lifetime, which is your marriage. So, um, okay, I'm sorry, pause. What do you want me to, because I was going to go somewhere, and I don't know. I know, I, I know, because really I, I sort of was saying, I was like, see, there's no question in here, Cameron. <laughs> so I think, so my question for you is, what do you want other couples to take away from what you and your husband did in terms of doing a wedding that is not the most lavish, but you're not going into debt because you're focused more on the life that you all are living after this day than this, this one day? Okay, okay. Um, so one thing, uh, what I want couples to know is that, um, to invest, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. What I want couples to know. Or actually a better question for you is why shouldn't, uh, why should people, uh, think less about the wedding day and more about the marriage? Like and the lifetime of that like why is the marriage more important than the actual wedding day um well the marriage is more important than the actual wedding day because that's actual like that's that's a lifetime that's something that you should you should invest in you should invest more into your marriage and that's what i would tell them invest more into your marriage than what you invest into your wedding into your wedding dress into your bridal party all of these things um because 
you know, who you marry that matters. Um, it could either be the greatest time of your life or the worst time of your life. So you definitely want to invest in your marriage um, because that lasts longer and it has a greater impact than a 30 minute ceremony, three hour reception. People, you know, people will remember that, but you, you know, there's times in marriage or things like that where that ceremony and all of that stuff is not really gonna matter. It's nice, but what really matters is the bond um, that you have. You a little post baby. You a little 48, baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. She gonna take off like a... You already know. Dirtied up a couple more than no side. Tell you what I know, you probably for a side. No, I gotta come and check the whole man, baby. Hold tight. I just touched the city with the cheap block stainers. And we got adopted by some fit for strangers. You know what it means when I twist these fingers. Me and you being on a first name basis. Why you think I hate it when you talk that Drake shit? Same reason that you never left me hanging. Same reason that I tried to make you famous. Same reason that I tried to show. One couple's wedding that's going viral with almost a million views, knocking down that nearly thirty you know thousand dollar national wow. cost of a wedding to just five hundred dollars. Eva Prism is here. She's gonna tell us how they did it. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Michael. Wedding for five hundred dollars <laughs> seems impossible, but one bride mm -hmm. planned her whole day for just that. She never set the budget. She says she focused just on one thing: not going into debt. Kiera and Joel Brokenbrow had a plan in place for their wedding. Wow. <laughs> oh. That's a you know who that is? Isn't that the guy who be on the sports center? Mm-hmm. This um Can you played, send me the link so I can send it to my family? He played football. Wow. I don't know the news, y'all. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I saw Carol was watching this together. I said, Carol, like, I'm on the move. He said, Girl, did you see yourself? Yeah, he said, Where? I said, I said Right. There. <laughs> I was I was on Inland Empire, but this one, Beauty Insider, that's a pretty popular magazine too. Like Serena Williams, yeah, Insider magazine, that's pretty popular. Of course, that like that led to the news, I believe. How did they reach out to you, girl? So the the right, so somebody commented on me, like a journalist commented on my post, and then he DM'd me, and then we was on the way to church. I didn't see it though. We was on the way to church, and Joe was like. Uh, this lady, this black girl, e DM Joel, like, hey, we're trying to get in contact with your wife. We're from Good Morning America. Like, can you call us ASAP? Like, we want to talk to her today. Wow. And at first, you know, we like, uh, it's a scam. You know, we thinking, oh, it's a scam. We don't know. And then, uh, and then, and then the late, and then that same girl emailed me. I said, okay, they're really trying to, like, contact me. So I just said, let me just, I said, let's keep everything through Instagram. I'm not calling them. I'm not giving them my phone number. Like, I'm not doing any of that because I don't know if this is legit or not. And so she was like, are you in LA? Like we want to interview you today. My producers want you in for an interview. And I'm just like, wait, what? You know, like, I'm like, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to go see my family. Yeah. Like, can we do this on zoom? <laughs> oh, so they're going to have you go in like, I don't, I don't know if they were, but she was like, you're in LA. Right. And I was like, yes. So I, I just asked her, I said, how will the interview be conducted? Um, and, sh and, um, and she was like, you're in LA, right? And I was like, you know, yes, I did have plans to go see my family in the in the Empire. So, you know, like, I'm thinking Zoom. And she's like, okay, we'll do it on Zoom. So, wow. yeah, it's so just... she asked you questions? And you were, like, talking to her? Or, like, it was like you were just... Yeah, so I, I actually was with a guy. Yeah, he was. It was like a conversation. He just recorded me on Zoom, so you know they just took bits and pieces of what they wanted to put the story yeah. together. Like that's what they, you know. I took. That's what I got my degree in, so I know exactly what they do. <laughs> um, but yeah, girl. So it was just like. All right, so cool name. This is Rachel Inside Edition. How are you? Hi, I'm well. How are you? 
good, I'm good. Sorry, I just missed your call just now. I didn't even hear my phone buzz. Oh, no problem. Uh, but, yeah, okay, so um, let's see. So tomorrow morning, I know you mentioned that um, Joel might be able to join you in the morning, but you, but it just has to, like, everything has to be done by 8 a.m. He said 8 is, latest 8.30 a.m., yes. Okay, got it. Because um, he's just going to go straight to work after, I'm assuming, right? Yes. Got it, okay. So let me see. So um, do you do you guys prefer to do it like where you guys are like currently living? Like should we go out there towards towards you, or does he, you know, I mean, because I want to like work with you guys because I know mm-hmm. he's going to work. So or does he want to like drive out to, towards wherever work is first and do it somewhere near there instead? It's time to check in. So I have done. It's the day after Easter, so it's Monday. I've done two interviews so far. We, me and Joe have another interview um, tomorrow. And this one, we're going to be compensated for it. So that's exciting. That's rewarding for me. Um, hopefully, it really is what they say. Look at this big old um, thing on my face. Um, so yeah, we did this interview together. This was for like a local news station in LA. Um, so we did this one together and I honestly just appreciate all the black journalists who have been interviewing me. I'm here for it. Um, we've also got another opportunity possible, um, to get flewed out somewhere. So we'll see about that. But, um, it's been a very, very busy day. Um, I, luckily I had a therapy session today, so I was able to, um, process my emotions and my therapist was able to help me process through my emotions and things like that so um, of course for me like this moment of going viral <laughs> with our wedding going viral going national um, it's cool um, what would please me would be an increase in following an increase um, in my brand and just more viewers and more engagement and more followers subscribers things like that so that I'm able to pursue this the way that I want to uh, so that's kind of like my my personal outcome or like the goal so yeah we got an interview tomorrow at 7 30 in the morning at a park this is our first in-person interview um and so yes I am a broadcast journalism I got my degree in that so I'm pretty familiar with you know, being behind the camera that I'm not afraid of the camera. You know what I'm saying? I, I love her. I love her. Bring it on. Um, <laughs> so, but that's early. That's my thing. I'm like, yo, that's kind of early in the morning. But yeah, I definitely will be vlogging and taking y'all along with me just on a journey. And, um, you know, I'm just not trying to mislabel this moment. So many times I've thought like, oh my God, this is my time. This is my big break. This is so many times I've thought that and it wasn't. So I'm really just trying to just stay current, stay in the moment, not mislabel anything, but also, you know, acknowledge my accomplishments and acknowledge the fact like, yes, okay, I was on the news. I was on the national news. I was on ABC. I'm going to be on Fox. Um, I was on Insider Magazine and I'm going to be on another um inside um inside edition so all of them <laughs> so you know i'm just trying to accept that in you know everything else so i'll see y'all we got early oh i have an early day tomorrow and then on top of that i still have work hello <sighs> so Good morning y'all so we are about to do our interview with Inside Edition. This is our first in-person interview uh, with a check attached to it. <laughs> so we are um, about to do that. Right now we're at Crystal Springs picnic area. Joel drove separately because he has to go to work. So this is where we are. This car is nice. Look, I'll ask them. I'm not ready to talk about it either. One place to save money, the wedding dress. It can often cost thousands of dollars, but Piera bought hers for less than $50, and it fit like a dream. Oh, I love that you filmed it and you posted everything online, and 
what a great way to like just have these memories forever yes so very smart kudos to you guys thank you so um basically we were thinking i mean are you in los angeles yes okay um our trip yes thanks for um sharing our story or um yeah is it okay if i record our conversation yeah that's fine okay great um could you just explain to me why you all right y'all so i did three interviews today i did two phone no how many phones did i do two i did two phones and i'm about to do we did the one this morning as you seen and i'm about to do this other one. <laughs> and i'm still working okay i'm still working i have a meeting i have two meetings staff meetings i ain't gonna say nothing to them i'm gonna just see if they know i ain't gonna say nothing Let's see if they see me on the news like oh my god i don't know so <laughs> hi we hear you, but we oh. don't see you. Oh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> Kiera, right? Kiera. Yes, Kiera. My name's Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. I'm going to turn off. I don't know if this is better. You. You look good. Your lighting that looks good. good. Okay. I want your lighting. <laughs> I'm sitting right in front of a vanity. <laughs> So. Is that what you're using? Like the vanity light from like a vanity mirror? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I just finished. I'm doing so many interviews. I don't know who is who. Um, so that was with CNN. I did CNN. I interviewed with LA Time. And then I believe I spoke with NB. I don't know. NBC. Who is this? LA Times, CNN Just Now video, and then NBC Lifestyle Entertainment is where it's supposed to come in for them. I'm good. How are you? We're doing well. So, you wanted to or were going to get married, but you didn't want to break the bank. That, that's how this all started? Yes. It seems, so I, I was looking this up, the average cost of a wedding last year, $28,000. And you did it for five hundred. dollars How? <laughs> um, well, really, um, uh, our friends and our family really helped us with some things to help cut, um, cut the cost. So I would say that was a, a huge thing. It, um, the financial burden, um, it wasn't just on us. So people were willing to step right. in and they asked how, you know, what they can help with. They um, gifted us things. And so that's how we were able to do it for that budget. But, but, but you found a wedding dress for $47 or a white dress for $47. Yes. Beautiful, by the way. Thank you. you. So. But you can check out her story at Kiara Lee. 
Kiara, K-I-A-R-A, B-R-B-K, on TikTok and Instagram. Kiara, thanks for coming on and congratulations. Yes, thank you so much. All right, bye. Bye. You know what? And that was it. <laughs> Ryan C. Chris. How you feeling? I'm very calm. I'm very calm. That's good. That's how you know you built for it. Yeah. I feel prepared. I'm not shy for the camera. I just want to be more of myself though. Like I don't want to be reserved. So I want to work on like being myself. Regardless of how they are, like I want to be myself. I want to talk like myself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get the white girl voice. Yeah, you can't. But yeah. You're Kiara Brooklyn Brown. I just want to be. I want to showcase myself. So that's the thing. But how do you feel? You the one put on you. Boo. You gotta um, record yourself. I feel. I mean. I'm just, I'm really here to support my wife. I want everything that God has for her to to happen. So I'm here to support my book in whatever way I can. So whether that if that if I have to talk, I have to speak. That's so nice. Isn't that that's nice what I'm gonna do. to have a partner that supports you? Could you imagine? That's why you got that's why you got to marry the right one. It looked like I don't got a shirt on, but it's done. I know. That's why you got to marry the white, the white, the right one, ladies. They'll be equipped for all of your seasons, okay? They have you parking in the garage on the far left, okay? So this garage here? No, no far, one this one over here. Far left. Far oh, left, yeah. okay. And then you're just going to walk over to this building right here. This all right. One. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No Do no I problem. keep anything in the car? Yeah, the one that's isolated. This one. Yeah. Thank you. No this is your? Oh, show this. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. They waiting for you. Yeah. But we famous, yo. We, 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 I think we get kind of famous. Uh -huh. Hi. How you doing? Good. Can you park over there where um, there's no cones? You'll see it on the right hand side. Okay. okay. Thank you. Damn, I feel like a celeb. That's how they, that's how they treat the celebrities. No, we wouldn't be driving. Nah, I'm not. Uh, I'm just, I'm just Joe. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna see, man. The more y'all follow Kier, the more y'all gonna see who I am. I'm totally different from this person right here. Not really. All right, y'all. We, we gonna let y'all know what was, what's going down and what happened. We see y'all soon. Boo, you could. Yes. Okay. Did you guys fight? Oh. <laughs> so, um, here we go. Three, four. So, this is four. And then it's three. Two. Three. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, we're just we're <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Kiara, nice to Kiara? meet you. Yes. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Joel. Hi, Hi Kiara. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, Joel. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a seat. Freshly uh, married. Well, yes. <laughs> I'm going to put the yeah, oh. side. Are your phones both on silent or vibrate? Um, Mine is on silent. Y'all, this is Clubhouse, chow. Up to $2.1 million. Topic of discussion. It is a personal preference. Clubhouse talking about looking this. back in hindsight. Well, they're talking about... Okay, so I did my last interview for the day. I figured I'm going to limit myself. I'm not going to do... I did so many interviews yesterday. I said I ain't doing that again. Um, so, yeah. I did my last interview for the day. Uh, I feel like I had my first moment where I officially feel famous. Because a lot of famous people have a lot of people talking negatively about them a lot of people spreading rumors about them a lot of people saying what it ain't and i've experienced that today um it definitely stings a little bit but i'm not shocked i know it comes with the territory so 
um yeah but i'm like you know people are like do you feel you're famous you're famous i'm like i don't feel famous but today yeah i feel famous because i know for a fact this is the bs that famous people have to go through but um all in all it's it's more good than bad so you know it just it just comes with the territory so yep last interview for the day i'm tired but it's okay um i'm really doing this um to i'm just seeing how it's just helping me you know i'd be a fool not to do it though okay y'all i'm finally watching something live <laughs> The newlyweds recently stopped by our studios to tell me and Jess all about it. Here we go. Well, Kira and Joe, welcome. Uh, first of all, we are beyond impressed that you <laughs> guys pulled this off. Uh, or how? How did you even do that? I think that's like the yeah. most important question. It was unexpected, honestly. Um, at first, we was going to go to a courthouse mm -hmm. because of the pandemic. Yeah. Pandemic, everything skyrocket. Um, but we didn't have enough. Look at my book. We didn't have enough um, time to figure out everything, mm -hmm. so my wife decided, hey, we should do a elopement, and she took over that. Yeah, so that's kind of how it happened. Um, nobody's answering the phone right now, and I need them to answer the phone, because I just got an email from Shein. I can't even wrap my mind around it. Nobody's answering the phone. Hello. Okay, somebody answered the phone. I didn't call a few people. I called. I don't even know why I called Joe because he's coaching the game. Then I called Jay, and because I was What's gonna call problem, Jay anyway. Girl, we here from? We'll call. girl, she in finally responded. What they want? Kirsten. What they are? They said that they're going to send me a each month for the year. I made sure this was legit too. Okay. And they want to have you join us for our affordable glam bride expert and consultant. Join us as our affordable glam bride expert and consultant. For starters, we host regular live streams that are attended by thousands of Shein fans around the world. With wedding seasons coming up, you'd be, perf you'd be the perfect style expert interviewed by our host. Please let us know your thoughts if a partnership is not in the cards right now as your neighbors in LA. Our team would would I can't even read would still very much welcome you to our office for lunch and fashion at any time. Uh Kira, I was in the shower, like, oh you know, I'm really happy for the exposure and I just gotta work on my sister's showmanship. Oh but, my uh, what? Your showmanship, girl, you looking bored. You look like yourself. I'm uninterested. <laughs> I don't like people. <laughs> That's what you give them and I don't need you to give that. Curse it. Aww, I was waiting on she in. What a way to wake up. So if you're going to accept the consultant, girl, you know, we can we can team up. I can be in the background telling you, no, don't say that. Right. So, but yeah, I'll call you right back. This is my guy. I'm going to call him. Okay, bye. What the heck? <laughs> what? Huh? I need my husband to answer the phone. Book, call me. You... First, hold on, because I look a mess. You guys. Oh, okay. I, 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 I don't know what to do with myself. I called my husband, my husband, I don't even know why I called him, because he's coaching a basketball game right now, so. I, what? I don't know if I should cry right now, if I should be, if I should jump for joy. Like, a little part of me is like, is this real? Like, don't play with me. Like, that's why I'm like, don't play with me right now. Don't sit up here and play with me. Don't lie to me. Do not play with me right now. Are you serious? And then invited me, invited me in for lunch. What? <sighs> We also think your affordable bride vibe is something that should be shared around the world with brides-to-be. We know you are a social media maven, and we'd like to have you join us as our affordable glam bride expert and consultant. Excuse me? Please let us know your thoughts. If a partnership is not in the cards right now, as your neighbors in LA, our team would still very much welcome you to our office for lunch and fashion at any time. <laughs> Oh, God. 
Is this real? Is this real? Like I want to, I want to say, girl, it's too good to be true. Is this? Are you serious? Let me let this time I find out. I'm finna put this code in in in. Oh God, which I will send you once a month for a year. Excuse me. Excuse me. My husband has been wanting to get like wanting to shop go on a shopping spree and he was gonna spend his hard-earned money for it because things have not been easy since he's made this transition out here to california and he was going to spend his hard-earned money because he's been so responsible putting his money in other places like this is crazy i'm celebrating oh i'm celebrating oh my god Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's too good to be freaking true. Are you serious right now?